Hello, my name is Tim Collier and this is a short video introducing the State of Summer School. It's going to be taught by myself and Tim Clayton, both of whom are from the Department of Medical Statistics at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and by Aurelio Tobias from the Spanish Scientific Research Council. Uh, there we are just below. It's going to take place from the 14th to 19th of June this year. And I'm going to give you just an, a brief overview of the course, how we're going to teach it, the format and the content of the, of the, of the courses. So I hope you find this helpful. So a bit about the summer school in general. It's actually five separate courses, four one day and one two day course. And I'll describe those in a bit more detail in a moment. And the nice thing about it is that you can sign up for uh, as many as you want. You can sign up for just one course uh, or you can sign up for all, all five courses or anything in between. It's going to be taught online using Zoom. So you can do it from home. The course is very interactive and hands on. I think this is the best way to learn how to use some statistical software. Uh, the lecturer will be demonstrating live while you follow along on Stata. So you're not going to be sat back watching and listening. You're going to be interacting the whole time. And we really encourage questions. For the optimal experience, I recommend having a, a second screen so that you can watch what we're doing on one screen and follow along on Stata on a second screen on a laptop uh, or a large screen. If you've got a large screen, that would be also be good. The sessions are always recorded and then they're available for up to 30 days after uh, the course finishes. You'll be provided with temporary state of training licenses uh, for the course. But if you've got your own version of Stata already loaded, then you can use that. We provide lecture notes and course data so you can keep learning beyond uh, the course as well. So here's the five courses. Uh, course one is an introduction to Stata. I'll give you more detail in a moment. And that takes place on the 14th of June and I'll be teaching that. Uh, for that, you don't have to have any prior experience of using Stata at all. I'll take you right through from the beginning. Course two is advanced data management using Stata. There will be some data management in course one but much more detail on that in, in course two, and I'll be teaching course two. On course three, on the 16th of June, is data visualization using Stata, so producing graphs in Stata. Uh, I'll be teaching that. That's a one-day course. Then course four is a two-day course, the 17th and 18th of June, and this is Stata for medical statistics. That'll be taught by myself and by Tim Clayton. And then on the Saturday, 19th of June, course five, Aurelio will be teaching the course on meta-analysis in Stata. This will be the, the schedule for each day. We'll be teaching it in three live sessions on Zoom, as I said. Uh, the first session from 10 to 12, uh, UK time, London time. Then we'll have a break for an hour for lunch and then another two hour session after lunch. Uh, a shorter break, half an hour and then an afternoon session, 3.30 to 5. So just a quick overview of what we'll be doing in each of the courses. So an introduction to Stata takes us right from the beginning. So I'll, I'll introduce the Stata interface. We'll look at the two main ways of working in Stata. That's through the graphical user interface, so you can use Stata sort of point and click, fill in the boxes and so on. Uh, but we'll also show how to move from that to working in do files, which is what you really want to be doing if you're doing research. We'll focus quite a lot on getting to know your data. That's a really crucial step in any uh, data analysis, getting to know your data, exploring your data, finding problems and so on. And then we'll look at some essential data processing tools. So importing data from Excel, creating new variables, uh, labeling variables, and we'll look at one way in which you combine 
data sets. They are what I would say the, the essential data processing commands that we'll cover there on day one. We'll show you how to keep a record of, of your work, so saving results in log files. Uh, just a bit on saving graphs, there'll be much more on that on course three. And getting tables into Word or Excel. And throughout the day, we'll be focusing on good practice for research, making your work uh, reproducible, working efficiently. In course two, we'll look at more advanced data management using Stata. We'll look at creating and combining data sets, so importing data from different formats and doing that efficiently as well. And then look at joining data sets together. Often in uh, research, you have data in different uh, files. You want to bring them together to create an analysis ready data set. And so we'll look at appending and merging data sets. We'll spend quite a lot of time looking at creating new variables. Uh, numeric variables, dealing with string variables, dealing with dates. And we'll also look at dealing with repeated measurements data. So you may have a trial where you've got people uh, seen at baseline and then at a number of points afterwards. You may be interested in calculating changes over time. We'll also look at reshaping data sets. Uh, that's moving from wide format data sets to long and vice versa. And then also looking at creating summary data sets, moving from individual patient data sets to uh, summary data sets. And that can be very useful for when you want to plot, create graphs and so on. Throughout the day, we'll be looking at working efficiently and I'll introduce loops and macros. And as on day one, there'll be an emphasis on good practice. Course three is data graphics or data visualization using Stata. Graphs are a great way of uh, communicating results and it's important that you do it well. We'll look at creating graphs through the graphical user interface, that's through the drop down menus. And we'll work through three different examples which cover many options. We'll also look at how then to save those graphs that we've created through the graphical user interface, to save the graph commands into do files so that we can reproduce them and change them if we want to. We'll spend a bit of time looking at preparing data for plotting. Sometimes that's needed. And we'll also look at exporting pub publication quality figures, so high resolution uh, images. We'll also look at how to insert graphs directly into Word from Stata. So if you're producing a report that has lots of graphs, we'll look at how you can set up uh, a program that produces those graphs and immediately inserts them into Word to save you having to do that. And we will look just briefly at how you can edit graphs using Stata's built-in graph editor. And we'll cover a number of different plot types throughout the day. So box plots, uh, bar charts, histograms, and especially two-way plots, which are very flexible plots. Course four, this is the two-day course, Stata for Medical Statistics, that I'll be joined by Tim Clayton to teach. <clears throat> and we will cover analysis of the three main types of data that typically arise in medical research. And that's continuous outcomes, binary outcomes, and time to event outcomes. So we're covering those three. For each of these, we'll look at um, each of those types of data, we'll look at exploratory analysis and descriptive statistics. Uh, we'll look at simple hypothesis tests for each setting. And then we'll think about selecting the appropriate model for each of those types of data. So we will be looking at linear regression, logistic regression, and Cox regression, and Poisson regression as well. And for each of those, we'll look at how you can fit univariable and multivariable models and very importantly, we'll focus quite a lot on interpreting the results. Often it's very easy to do these things in Stata, but then no, not know, not understand the output. And so we will focus quite a bit on interpreting and presenting those results. We'll look at how you can in include continuous and binary and categor categorical explanatory variables in your model. And we'll think about model selection. 
And then on the Saturday, course five, Aurelio will be teaching this a meta analysis using this data. I'll give you an introduction to meta analysis, the ideas and concepts, and then introduce the meta -analysis, analysis dialog box and the data syntax. We'll look at um, doing meta analysis with binary data and with continuous data. And he'll show you how to fit the two, two sort of main statistical approaches to meta analysis, the fixed effect and the random effects models. Look at testing and quantifying heterogeneity, so that's variation between studies, and look at exploring and explaining that with subgroup meta analysis and meta regression. And also look at other useful uh, Stata user developed commands for meta analysis, and there are quite a few of those. So that's an overview of what the summer school is going to be like and what it's going to cover. If you have any other questions, then visit the website. Uh, it's there on the screen. If you need more specific questions, email info at timberlake.co.uk. And uh, I hope to see you in June.